boys and girls. Hello. Welcome to the podcast known as Flappity Flap. Flappity Flap Podcast. Flappity Flap. <laughs> what's uh what's happening? Mr. McDonald? Oh. oh, you know the usual. I just outed you on your Scottish heritage. Heritage. So, uh let's just get right into it. Jump right in. We um we were watching a video. Uh, how did we find it? I don't know. We came across a video. Most hugs in a minute. I think it was just on Facebook. Okay. You know how they have the randomly shared. Yeah. Uh, and it was weird and hilarious because it looked like two maybe um, East East Asian fellows, perhaps. Were they East Asian? I I mean, right. I, I'm trying not to like assume they were Indian or Pakistani or. East Asian. Wouldn't they be West Asian? Would they? Oh, yes. East uh-huh. Asian would be that's Japan and China. And that's what I said. I'll edit that to make you look not ignorant. They looked <laughs> possibly Middle Eastern. Yeah. Is that still? I don't know I'm what's not acceptable. Sh- I'm not sure. Yeah. I think it is. Anywho. Anywho. They were hugging. They were hugging half-heartedly, but to uh, optimize the hugging capabilities in a minute they were hugging as fast as they could which wasn't that fast (laughs) it was very strange because it wasn't as fast as you would think yeah you would be pushing for a uh world record yeah and i was speculating that maybe it's because you have to have like a certain amount of you know separation or there's like a certain protocol to establish I think that absolutely. it's a separate hug. I think you you have to detach completely from the person <laughs> and have have your arms away from that person so they were just like back and forth yeah uh, basically just like chest bumping and wrapping their arms do you think that's why it wasn't as fast as as we thought it would otherwise be um Maybe? or you think they would just also if you're I think the... they were the first and only ones to do this yeah and you know somebody will one up them I'm sure because well, they, th- they weren't true. that fast. That's true. So I no think, offense to them. Yeah. It just they they looked half heartedly, like they were doing. You know, let me start again. Like they were doing it half heartedly. <laughs> well, I think that was the other thing we were speculating is is don't set the bar too high, especially if you're the only one who's done it. Because I don't know. Like, well, I don't know. Because you just make it harder for yourself to break it if someone. Uh, I think yeah, if you're gonna get. The Guinness World Record people and a bunch of people around you to start taking note and making things official, you actually do it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they were going as fast as they could, but they didn't really look like they were pushing themselves. And it was a mi- it was in a minute, right? I believe so. So maybe we when we saw it, they were like halfway through the minute because I was thinking that might actually get pretty tiring. Yeah. So maybe they were just tired and they were flagging. You it know? did look tiring. <laughs> But I don't know. Competitive hugging is exhausting, perhaps. Probably. So you you weren't impressed. I don't even remember if it said how many hugs they did. But, you know, our takeaway was, meh, we we thought they could try harder. Yeah. It was just kind of strange, not really impressive. Mm -hmm. You know, when you think world record, you think, wow. I couldn't do that. Yeah. Nobody could do that. A normal person couldn't. But like, yeah. looking at them, it was like, yeah, they're moving at a steady pace. I, mm-hmm. I feel like I could absolutely do exactly what they had just done. Okay. So the gauntlet has been thrown down. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I need to pick it up, <clears throat> smack you around with it a little and, you know, say, put your money where your mouth is. All right. Are you going to do it with me? Uh, I don't know. Because... I feel like with the boobs, maybe it would get a bit bruisey, a bit, uh, and I think it'd be funny to watch yeah, you do it with another- Yeah, I might need some nipple guards. With another person. <laughs> Obviously, post-COVID, post-vaccine. Mm-hmm. Um, no, it has to be within, yeah, it has to be when within- When you've got your chip properly implanted so that, you know, it'll, just, it'll just track- oh It'll just track your, your hugs so we don't have to actually count or have witnesses. It'll <laughs> oh, just track gosh. GPS- will uh, track your movements uh-huh. like a pedometer but a hugometer yeah the nanobots that they <laughs> oh no oh no oh no oh no so we thought it'd be funny to look at some of the weirdest wackiest funniest, goofiest zaniest goofiest, craziest zaniest. <laughs> proceed yep C- carry on craziest braziest <laughs> 
Guinness records ever. Yes. Or just that pop out to us and we find funny. You so, start. Go for oh, it. Oh, god. Jump right in. Oh, all right. Uh, people are sick of waiting. <laughs> By people, you mean you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mostly. Message received. Uh, most jello. I'm just going to pick out the ones I, uh, you know, bring out to me. Most jello eaten with chopsticks in one minute. Current record, 3.2 ounces. Jello eaten with chopsticks. Is that even possible? So, like, full um, cups of jello or just a cube of jello? Okay. Uh, it just says 3.2 ounces. Uh, How rules, much is that? Hold on. Rules, any flavor, and only one hand may be used while the other is held behind the back. Yeah, right, because you only use one hand for chopsticks. Yeah, but some people, you know, if they're not good with them, they have to readjust with a second hand. That would hand. be me. That would be me. Uh, the second coolest way to get noticed via Jello behind starring in a commercial with Bill Cosby. Oh, okay. That has nothing to do. So funny. you can Very just funny. like choose an implement and a food and be like, I'm going to be the fastest at this. So for, for example, I could use like a straw and be like, yeah. I'm going to be the fastest person to drink the most Jello. I'd be really concerned about choking, but I guess the Jello would kind of just probably dissolve. Um, I don't know. And I, I think, like Jello. Ugh. I think you'd have to, because like a lot of the way that people eat with chopsticks that I've seen, like, you know, native, like Asian people, is they kind of scoop. Like, you know, it's not just picking up individual pieces. They do the scoop at least toward the end, maybe. Well, I think it depends on if they're doing it from a cup or if they're doing a cube of it from like a tabletop. Yeah, that's what I'm, I mean, I think you'd have to have some. Do they not explain what, how what, they did it? No, no, this is not that kind of website that. Oh. <laughs> this is a website that came up when i said like funniest or dumbest or i'd, I'd like to imagine you know. that they're using using it for a little cube because otherwise yeah if you're just scooping it you might as well just you know be lifting the cup up and plopping the whole amount into your face okay this one says 716 grams but that's uh metric grams i, I don't i can't know i can't imagine how much that is because we use like ounces i think that's whatever anyway let me see if i can find a grams video. to ounces here i'll do that you look for a video and i'll do grams now to i'm not ounces. sure the one i looked up the point is it's a funny <gasps> look he's like 716 gram so it's 25 ounces Holy. that's okay see the one i looked that up much 3.2 ounces look at it's okay. kind of a watch this guy kind of a lot. watch <laughs> World record cherry Yoshi Yoshitake. Mm -hmm. I'm no, I'm butchering that. So she's talking about her technique. Just show us the dang cherry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So they've got like cubes. So they're cubes on a plate. <laughs> well, and then they have white people using she's, chopsticks. Her last name was Yoshitake. That's... The one person was. Okay. Well, I'm just saying they're representing. <laughs> that's me though i can't even hold chopsticks <laughs> i think we should do this i first think of all let it teach me how to bit, be a chopstick pro and then we do it even though i hate jello it looks a little bit like oh, nasty. Chubby, the chubby bunny <laughs> challenge where people choke yeah but i feel like jello will just dissolve in your airway and you'll be fine I feel like you would hate it because you don't like using chopsticks for one and you but, don't like jello for two. But this will be a way for me to master the chopsticks finally because I was watching. Why not master it with something you actually like to eat? Okay, well, we'll, we'll start with that and then we'll go. I just think it looks fun. I don't hate jello. I just like I can stomach it probably more than yogurt, but mm. I wouldn't choose it as like a snack, a dessert. I just I just wouldn't, you know, I'd huh. rather eat like pudding i used to love it huh but i would do it for this because i think it'd be damn funny damn damn funny. fucking funny um oh is this shirt bill murray that's cool Looks like so it. i just think it was i think the visual made me giggle so that was my that's why i chose that one let's do it good challenge accepted <laughs> okay so we got the hug challenge lined up and we got the jello chopstick challenge lined up i think we're getting ahead of ourselves we've just begun and we've accepted both challenges well i have accepted them on our behalf as yeah. your representative as your power of attorney i don't know if i want to continue then because right. are we All just right. going right. to it's accept open negotiation. every we have to pick at least one of these on the list have to okay yeah uh, I, I say we have to 
please. Uh, please I like this one. Please, please. Most toilet seats broken by the head in one minute. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. <laughs> will you be the head? Uh, <laughs> I will be the videographer. That's. I'm just kidding. No, go ahead. How many was it? Uh, you have to wonder who came up with this, uh, with some of these records. Yes, you do. I'm going to guess <laughs> the people who, uh, who have done them. Yeah. Yeah. Usually the head and the toilet seat are not the most compatible elements, except when stereotypical high school bullies are involved. Oh my gosh. Huh? I feel yeah. like we should just skip the commentary on these sites because... The record for most wooden... Oh my goodness, wooden... <gasps> Oh, Toilet wow. seats broken in a minute in a in a minute with the head is 46. Okay, so when you first read that, were you thinking what I was thinking which was like plastic? Yes. Not porcelain cuz what's funny is that we have porcelain toilets, right? But we didn't go to porcelain. I don't know if they make wooden. porcelain seats. Are our seats plastic? I think oh. most seats are either plastic or yeah, they are That's true. I wooden toilet seats oh my god because they are not they are robust and how are you oh my goodness they are look at a look at look at these photos of them yeah i mean that i i would be hurting after one of those i think was he uh you know a special fixed, child fixed with a special head appendage implement Yes. To facilitate <laughs> a bone spike <laughs> on the top of his head. <laughs> how? I mean, how? Like, that's your head, man. That's where your brain resides. He you for, he must have forgot. <laughs> well, I could see how he'd forget after. I oh guess in the practices, I, I, anything involving your head, I, I'm out. These it's too photo? dangerous. You only have one. These photos of wooden toilet seats, I mean... They are one solid chunk of wood yeah. that is cut yeah. to shape, which makes it all the more painful seeming. And they're thick. Okay. I so... mean, oh my goodness. And 40, how many? 46? 42. 46. I mean, have you seen the ones of people failing world records? There was a guy that was like trying to open coconuts with his forehead and he just like eventually passed out. Yeah. Yeah. I do remember that. I think I showed you that and you were cringing because mm -hmm. it just, why are you doing that to yourself, man? There's so many other things you could be doing. And that's not a seat. That's a lid. It says it's a video. That's a toilet. Oh, here it is. That's a toilet lid. Which I guess is worse. Oh, that... Are those wooden? Those aren't wooden. Those look wooden to me. Do they? Oh, my goodness. They look white. Is he just going to slam his in head down Germany? into them? Oh, gosh. I don't... Why toilet seats? Why not just, like, boards? Even if they've never been used. I, I guess it's just the spectacle. And I'm sure that smashing boards is in the Guinness Book of World <laughs> Records. So what you do... Is you go... You change it up. You go... You gotta click. You go to the category... Nope. Nice. That has... Or the, the area that has the least amount of world records, and then you start going through that. And so toilets was probably... Because people don't want to do things with toilets. Especially with their head yeah. or face. Even yeah. if they've never been used, you just... Mm -hmm. You don't want that. So this guy's Most like, toilets licked in one minute. It just is one toilet. <laughs> <laughs> good one i mean it's probably true right mm -hmm. i hope this guy doesn't start bleeding and passing out oh come on i don't think that's basically like a board <laughs> that's not the seat they're all breaking the same way yeah so he's basically there's... doing boards oh my gosh that one just hit him <laughs> without busting they're all breaking in the oh, same sorry. spot uh well Maybe it's how they're... So I'm just going to guess they're maybe compromised in that spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just hit himself. <laughs> oh, oh, do it all the way, buddy. Go back and do it. They're breaking very easily in the well, same exact spot every I'm single sorry, one of them. I'm sorry, but I think if you are going to... Oh, my God. <laughs> He's getting fatigued. He's getting tired. 
we'll, and put, this a, we'll put a link because this is gold. This is like a goofy game show. How you know, can you do something Germany embarrassing has... but somehow feel proud of it? I think Germany has is is possibly ready to surpass Japan in that. Oh my gosh, did he just give up on Is he going to go back cuz that don't count, man? He's starting to bleed, I believe. Oh no. Naturally. Oh no. Cuz you're having wood breaking on your face. What How does he determine whether to leave one behind? No turlet left <clears throat> behind. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at how bloody he it is. Just looks so Oh wait. Is that blood? so demoralized? Fifty, or he did like forty-eight? Cause he did he... forty-six. Oh, okay. And everybody's fucking laughing at you. You got a bloody head. People are laughing at you, and but you just headbutted a bunch of toilets. Think about the money that he made and the exposure he just got. I don't think there's any money in it. I don't think uh, you make any publicity, money. Publicity. I'm sure he got paid for going on there. I don't know about that. Uh, he probably got a book deal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, what, what would you, what would his book be called? I don't know. I My don't life read. with Turlets. I don't uh, know books. You know this. Turlet versus man. How I, how I beat the turlet and never looked back. I don't know. Um, the, the record is held by Kevin Shelley of the United States. Yeah, is that's that who him. that is? That's him. So he's a U.S. man. Oh, well, I am very proud. You know, in this time, in this country, that gives you something to be proud of. We about. do have little to be proud of. That is mm -hmm. definitely something. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely did something that made us feel something. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Me too. So, yeah, I feel like if you're going to have a category where you are the best at it, you know, uh, so far, I think it needs to, like, be more authentic so if you're the head breaking this toilet guy you <laughs> you need to stand over that i'm the head breaking this <laughs> toilet guy you ever met i think you need to stand over the toilet and bonk your head on the toilet seat i don't think all you're doing when you, he lifts the the so it's the lid it's not even the seat it's, it's the not lid. the seat yeah so he's a lifting seat it lid up. We'll, we'll link the video so you you decide um, hero or villain, you decide. Um, he lifts the lid and basically brings it so he can conk it with his head. Oops. And some of them he doesn't break but it's and it's basically just like, like a board. Oh. I feel like if it's a toilet and that's the, that's the title of the category, you need to be standing over that toilet, bonking it while it's on the toilet seat, you know, otherwise it's just a board. You're just, you're not special, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I might back off from that a little bit, but it's just when you see a title and you go, oh, holy shit, like that's kind of gross, but kind of cool, kind of funny. And then you see the way he does it. And it's like, that's just, he just took the magic. He took the magic away. From... Yeah, I thought you were going to just be leaving the toilet seats there and just wanging you... your head against Exactly. Them. That's what I wanted. I mean, that is what Coconut Guy did. Yeah. He had his hands behind his back. Yeah. And he was just headbutting coconuts. And right. then I think he passed out. Because that's what we want to see. Because he was headbutting coconuts. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise <laughs> you're just you're just a normal head headbutton guy, you know. But if you do it right, you're something special. You're something above and beyond. Here he is, world record most no, coconuts smashed by headbutts. I can't, I can't watch. I mean, I mean, because coconuts, it's your head. Oh, First, and coconuts head? are notoriously hard. Oh, notoriously. Yeah. Infamously. Bro. Oh my gosh. Your fucking head. Ooh, and the way they're splitting, you know he's fucking cutting his face are and head open. Those coconuts or Those are watermelons. coconuts. Oh, okay. I always forget they have the green outer layer. I feel like he's probably wishing they were watermelons. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just the way you said it. He's wishing they were watermelons. He's, I mean, he's near, he's passing out. You see them sort of stop and you see kind of them deflate for a minute. Like, can I do this or can I quit? Is it, does your head, when you subject it to that kind of oh. impact and pressure over time, does it form like a thicker, you know, like they say, if you yeah, do. Yeah, you can build up bone. Bone and, density. 
You can build up bone and, and even skin density that will help to but do you stop do the that impact. Yeah, there are people. Head? There are actually uh, martial artists that do things like iron palm, where they like train their hands to be super but tough. That's that's different because that's not where your brain lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's given himself a con multiple concussions. Yeah. I mean, at least if you fuck your hand up, you can do other stuff. You have another hand. You have feet. You know, people can train their feet to be like hands. You got other limbs and organs that are working. Your head is like the most important one, I feel like, you know? Your head is important. It is important. Oh, okay. So, no, coconut guy succeeded, but watermelon guy is the one that failed. Okay. And that's what we want to see, you know? That's what's funny. I mean... Failure. It's all very strange. Okay. I feel like we probably shouldn't just... I don't know. <laughs> he's... And he... Okay, and so let me just paint you a picture. Hair. So he's this skinny, tall, white man with very long hair, very long blonde hair. Uh -huh. And he's just headbutting this these watermelons. And he had to headbutt one of them, like... How many times was that? Like and, th four times? And that's at the beginning. Yeah. So he's not even like halfway through having to do multiple tries. He's at the beginning. That doesn't bode well. And he's just not built for somebody to be busting things with his head. He just looks like some kind of weird watermelon headbanger. You know, like headbanger, like a metal band. You need, I think if you're going to do this kind of a competition, you need to work out that neck, work out those jaw muscles and, work, you know, yeah. you need to be like fit up there because otherwise up a, build up a head callus yeah you're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself you need a callus so you're gonna be walking around like what's that dinosaur that has like a big prominent forehead that sticks out you know he like kind of he kind of looks like um a guy that just kind of came off the street and was like sure you think they just grabbed a hobo and said do you think you can he doesn't break look some like a hobo watermelons with your head <laughs> just a random guy like hey you yeah. want to be on tv we'll mm -hmm. pay you mm -hmm. Sure. And then he's just like, wait, what are you having me do? I guess yeah. I'll do it. I'd say anything as long as it doesn't involve my noggin. As long as I'm not mashing or watermelons my with my head. Or yeah. your peepee? -pee? Yeah. You know. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, like, anything that doesn't involve dam possible damage oh. to my brain or my privates. Bro. Oh, my freaking gosh. It is hard to watch. <laughs> the fucking... Hard to watch. It was hard to do. <laughs> the people are just cringing. The host is cringing. The intensity. He's. Oh, mm, bam, bop. People are covering I feel their like faces. Like it shouldn't take you five times. If it takes you five times, you're not doing it right. And maybe pick a different fruit. Maybe pick a different melon. What other soft melons are there? Honeydew's probably softer. Honeydew? Or just pick a squishy uh, melon. Um, cantaloupe. Well, the thing is yeah. that watermelon splits. And if that's true. But if you're that guy, you're like, and I'll pick the watermelons. He's already. I'll handpick the watermelons. And you go and you pick the ripest ones. Right? I have guess. You ever, have you ever eaten watermelon injected with vodka? We did that once at I uh, think I have. my aunt's party. Melon balls? And we, we were just. Um, no, not melon balls. Well, he did it. I don't we think it's a failure. Literally injecting, like with needles, I think, uh, mm. vodka into watermelon. I it's think I cool. have. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, is it my turn or your turn? Oh, uh, you go. Oh shit! I can't. You um, do it. I can't. Okay. Um. Sorry. If, if you don't have anything, I can do a thing. How? Most leapfrog jumps in 30 seconds by a team of two. This, this ha has got I would to be hope it'd be a team fun. of two. You can't do leapfrog with more than two people. Okay, can you Google it? Because I think it makes sense for you to look up a video. <laughs> can you do leapfrog with more than two people? Wouldn't yeah. you just be jumping oh. onto someone? Um, maybe if you leave a space. I feel like I've seen that. Oh, maybe I'm it thinking of a like different. It would be like a double, kind of, you'd have to do a double know. jump. I don't know. Uh... Okay, participants must take turns being the frog, and each person must have both hands Naturally. placed on the ground and the back. And the back? Oh, respectively, at the same time before a jump. Hmm. Anything else? Um, no. This is not the most information-havenist site. This is, like, for cool. people with short attention spans, like uh, me. 
leapfrog record. I I think world record of this leapfrog. This would be the funniest thing to watch. But that's a bunch of people. They, you need it with the two Guinness people. World Record Day oh, wow. 2010 largest game of leapfrog. That's the largest <laughs> game of leapfrog. Yeah. Uh hmm. what was it? Longest game of leap, leapfrog? Most leapfrog jumps in 30 seconds by a team of 2. Oh, there it is. Apparently it's a uh commonly Maybe, Oh, it might be like thing. a challenge. People were trying to beat it. Oh yeah, it looks like it might be a challenge. Oh my gosh, I would love to watch that but have it, you know, be a failure. Just not a failure, but yeah. Yeah, failure. Cuz it's so funny. It's like when you watch those people jumping over like poles, you know? Um Yeah, and then it sticks them right in the grundle. Yeah, or like they're you know, they're their baggy pants in it. And that so always they makes just me get... sad. Does it? It Even just looks when it's perfectly self inflicted. It looks so painful. <laughs> and they just don't really have a great grasp on how how they're going to pass over it and mm -hmm. they haven't seen the fail mm -hmm. videos, so they don't know. Can oh. I can I change my choice of, of what challenge we're accepting? <laughs> what? <laughs> this I like the leapfrog one now. Oh, okay. Or, you know, we could probably do all three. Okay. 30 uh, yeah, seconds. 30 I, seconds isn't that long. We just need a nice flat stretch of land or padded padded floor. Right? Probably. So uh, 32 was the record. You couldn't find it? You couldn't find a video? So one every second, practically? Practically? Yeah. More than one every second. How is that possible? <laughs> Um, I would think that some really fit people could do it pretty easily. Here we go. They look nervous. They don't look... No, come on. This this isn't the record, because both of... He's protecting his head, fair enough, but both your hands are supposed to be on the floor. <laughs> they just look... They do look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's always ridiculous because they're like rushing as fast as they but I can also to, don't... to do something. Let me just. I'm sorry. I get excited about leapfrog. Fuck. To do something that's ridiculous. So they're like pushing themselves. Mm -hmm. They're white knuckling this goofy <laughs> thing. See, I'm getting tired. Yeah. I know. Go ahead. I, I'm done. Well, so this guy, I think, I think it should be a rule that, um, some some kind of rule about the leg position because the the guy in the jeans first of all what are you doing in jeans you don't have the mobility optimum attire gear he's throwing his leg kind of his right leg kind of up so he's kind of going sideways and i just don't i feel like a, a real if a real judge is judging that that's not good enough mm -hmm. i mean he, i guess for the most part his legs are still straddling the other guy his but form just, is weird. It feels a bit like, yeah, if you throw one leg up higher, it's it's easier. I'm getting really into this. I'm really I'm really upset when the integrity isn't preserved. You know? No? Sure. You don't feel that you don't I, feel that way? I can't wait till we hit one that you're passionate about. Let's see what that is. <clears throat> what do you what's your what do you got? Most watermelons chopped on the stomach in one minute. What is with all this watermelon abuse? Yeah, if Wait, you're, very wasteful. If you're curious, the cutting implement used to chop the watermelons was a machete? What the fuck? Okay, that that's a game changer. I don't know why I was thinking some some guy was doing it with his hand. Oh, like a on karate somebody's chop? Stomach. Yeah. Holding a melon on your stomach while yeah. somebody chops it with a machete. Ooh. Why? Why, though? Yeah. I get nervous when, um, what is it? Like, they show the people, like, in the markets and they're chopping, like, melons or, or they're chopping something really fast with, like, a super sharp, like, machete. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, mangoes? And or Maybe. Uh, uh, pomegranates or something? Uh, I felt like it was a bigger, I don't know, but, but one guy has to put it and the other guy chops it really fast. And you cannot have a hiccup in the rhythm because if you do... First oh, maybe guy you're thinking is losing of, his hands. Maybe you're thinking of people making mochi. Maybe. Where the guy's like, 
uh, moving the the rice oh. m- moving the rice around and and the other guys hitting it with a mallet yeah yeah like that it's it, like I one get wrong so move stressed. and you get a <laughs> busted hand yeah and you only have two of them they don't grow back that's true your hands don't grow back we're not octopi or newts or whatever do newts hands grow back or salamanders their tails <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, thanks for correcting me you're welcome on the show <laughs> so so 25 watermelons in one minute is there a video uh oh i'm sure i mean you would want to get that one <laughs> would filmed you? Because you'd want to capture, you'd want to have evidence of yeah, the guy's death. When guy is disemboweled. Oh my gosh. Why, why would people do this? I guess if you have a death wish, you know, maybe you at least figure you could entertain people. He's like, I don't it. care. <laughs> Kill I don't me. Care. I don't care. You know? Okay, well, if you don't care about dying, do you mind if we just use you for a quick thing? You know? Uh, okay. On stomach. I am... Nervous. Oh my god. Man sets record for slicing most watermelons in half on his own stomach. Oh, okay, it's sideways. Gosh, no, it's not. Oh my god. The things that people do. For love? For love. (laughs) My love of putting myself at risk. I do it for my family. That ain't a machete. No, what is it? That's a fucking katana. Oh. That is a full-on actual sword. What's worse? What would be worse? Machetes are more dull. Are they? I think that... Uh, oh I... my gosh, that is horrible. That is a mach- That's a yeah. fucking katana. Yep. I wonder how sharp it is. Uh, machetes, clearly sharp enough. But listen, machetes aren't usually sharp. Well, the They're thing is... They're more of a clobbering yeah. tool. So I feel like you, you want to have a sharp because you want to not have to fully force put all your force down you just want it to slice cleanly so that when you stop short of your stomach tissue it still slices the watermelon and you get your record but what a crazy cuckoo cucamonga as you like to say these days cucamonga indeed and his fingies are not very clear of his of where he's chopping yeah if you if you watch the video his fingies look at that yeah so just look at this yeah Watch his fingies. Yeah. <laughs> so close to just whacking off a I pinky. Hope... Oh, no. He... Look at all that it wasted like... watermelon. Yeah. It Don't like... they know there are starving children in all over the world? It looked like he nicked himself. I hope they feed those to the local homeless shelter or I'm something. I'm sure they'll give them to pigs. Well, good. Starving pigs in... Wherever that is. Um. <laughs> what are you saying? It's what your like parents used to say, you know, when you'd like leave food on your plate. Yeah. You eat your dinner. There's starving children in Africa. It was always Africa, Ethiopia, you know. I understand that Ethiopia is in Africa, but but then it became probably something else. You know, there's starving children in America. Well, apparently there's starving pigs and wherever that guy's from. They aren't starving pigs. They're just like farm I know, Hogs, it was just going pigs. with the fucking Oh, this is joke. the guy that I was thinking of. Boris Johnson? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah the yeah, yeah. coconut chop guy yeah. that can't do one. Oh, no. Oh, bro, you make me sad. You make it sad. It looks like they're in London or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, ow. Ouch. Owie. Miss. <laughs> ow. They're just popping off of the rack. You would think that he would have practiced to know that he could at least do, like, five before going on fucking television. You fucking... Yeah, what do you... You're a loser. Oh, that's really mean. I don't... I wouldn't call him a loser. You're oh, a his failure. hand's all You're... broken. Okay. Oh, my god. I would call him delusional. Stupid maybe, is a... Yeah. Maybe he thinks he's, like, a superhero, but... Maybe. Yeah, didn't train. How do you... I don't know. Maybe they just plucked him off the street and went, we want to see a guy fail, you know, and people will think that he's been training for this and then he fails. I don't know. He was in a gi. Okay. Here we go. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. Save that because we'll link these. Fastest time to assemble Mr. Potato Head while blindfolded. Now, what I should have done was check the date on this because I don't know if it's current, but I'm really just more interested in the... (laughs) Uh, as of 2014, I know that was a long time ago. Um, 
Whoops. 16.17 seconds. Must only use hands. Right. What else would you use? For what now? To assemble a Mr. Potato Head while blindfolded. Must only use Your hands. Your butt cheeks. Yeah, I guess they could be pretty dex- dexterous, dexterous, whatever the word is. I bet that's a, I bet that's a world record. Being dexterous? Dexterous. No, putting Mr. Potato Head together as fast as you can with your butt cheeks. Oh. <laughs> must only use hands and must attach all included accessories in their proper anatomically correct positions. But but there are interchangeable ones. Who decides? I guess fill all the holes. You know. I'm going to guess um, face on face, hands on hands, hat on hat. Hat on head? Hat on head. Yes. Face on face. What you said there makes you know what a lot I'm of saying. sense. <laughs> the part's going where they should go. So you're not going to put the face on like his head, right. on the top of his right. head, right. the tippy top Just or on his arm. You know what I'm saying? You, I shouldn't have to explain that. You know what I'm talking about, you fucking putts. Oh, she's not blindfolded. Oh, my God. The, Stupid the thumbnail of this guy chopping the watermelons on his chest. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, he looks terrified. <laughs> oh, he's just he looks intense. he looks determined. That is a that that's a face of focus and determination for one of the silliest things a person okay, could do. This guy's doing it right. He's got a blindfold. His hands are so shaky. Okay, so he mixed it all up so he couldn't see where everything was. <laughs> Why not assemble him while you ha- have your sight? He can't even get the He can't even get the pants on. It's weird that he disassembled him with the blindfold on. Because then he that mixed wasn't up part the parts. of it. Yeah, but you can do that with you can mix up the parts with your blindfold on. It's I don't That's what he did. He's he's backwards. He His feet up, are backwards. He he's mixed... already screwed up. <laughs> And he's already at 20 seconds. Oh my gosh. He already messed it up. <laughs> Come I think on, he man. knows that, so he's he's going slow now because he's realized he's blown it. You had one chance and you blew it. His ear is oh okay. I thought he was putting his ear where his hand was. Yeah, he's backwards. I mean his legs are, at least. And his ear's crooked. What is that? <laughs> oh, where's the mouth? <laughs> Feel the feet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> His reaction was pretty good. He was oh, like, yeah, I did it. And then, oh, funny. the feet. Oh, that was good. <laughs> oh, the feet Stop are it. backwards. Oh, so he does it again, right? No, I just, oh, I don't know. So I just want it to see when he when he notices that it's wrong. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, huh? Oh. I've got him back to front. Oh, all he had to do was twist it. You don't even have to unplug it. You just twist it. Holy shit. Jesus the Christ. secrets <laughs> of Mr. P- P- Potato Head, man. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, the, the my parrot? favorite so far is most canned drinks opened by a parrot in one minute. Now this is back in 2012. Um, 31 cans in one minute. I can't find on an initial search that video, but here's a here's a parrot opening. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, so it's not really that hard. They have strong ass beaks. Well, yeah, they crack nuts open. Right. A beer can ain't nothing. All right. To a and look at the size of that thing. Oh, look how proud he is. This oh, they're so cute. He's like, give me more, give me more. This is like ninety two. Maybe. The footage is looking a little <laughs> dated. All right. Not a judge. It's not a judgmental. Mm-hmm. Okay, but what about Parrot sets new world record for basketball slams? Basketball slams. Ball slams. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. <laughs> is that the same parrot? That's so cute. That is the same parrot. Okay, are you serious? Do you know how similar those kind of parrots look? But look at the lady. The lady looks the same too. No, she doesn't. She's a brunette lady with wavy hair. And that other video was practically black and white by how old it was. They could be they could be the same person. Come on now. That was clearly like 20 or 30 years ago. Okay. This lady's fair young enough. and it's like 2012 or 2014. 2013 it says there in the bottom left corner if well, you had I'm eyes. Well, I'm so sorry that my microphone filter is covering it. Don't be sour at me because you don't know what people look like. So they're calling this basketball slams? Yeah. Cuz those aren't basketballs. Those are um whiff you know, wiffle balls. It's a net. It's basically just a net. Anyway, balls so. in a net. Mhm. Mm because I couldn't find the uh what was the original thing? <laughs> Because I couldn't find the most canned drinks video opened by a oh. parrot. I decided to go with the basketball slams. What do you got? What do you got? Anything else, Mr. Judgy? Mr. Judge McJudgerson? There was a kind of gross one that I saw. Well, that sounds delightful. Heavy Tell me. Heaviest weight lifted by... <gasps> dot, dot, dot. So there are multiple things. Okay. The heaviest weight lifted by the tongue is Ugh. 12 kilograms. That... How much is that in pounds? Is that like less? Yeah, I have I hate, to. I hate that stuff. Or like people... 26 and a half pounds. What? That's oh, I, thought, I always get confused between kilograms. On your tongue. Are you sure? I mean, it's oh. not lifted, I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's just held. I don't think you can lift that much weight with your tongue. You can I, hold it, though. I hate that. I just... I'm just picturing your tongue just ripping off. It's it's horrible. Yeah. And, and if you ever, like, I'm sure they work out their tongues, but have you ever, you know, done that? Like, like you've just... Um, well, they only get worse, Maybe too. you've had, like, a strenuous, you know, candy that you've sucked on, and your tongue gets, like, fatigued. I just, I just think about that. This lady hurt. <laughs> I, I'd say longest legs, longest feet. What her the... feet look humongous. How big are her feet? Her feet are... Those are like size 14, 15 shoes. Svetlana Pankratova officially has the world's longest legs, as of whatever article this is, measuring 51.9 inches, a little over four feet on July 8th, 2003. Okay, so that was 2003. Longest little... kiss ever. Oh my gosh, come on. Um... But I think it's just the way that the, the, the shoes she's wearing and the way her feet are in front of each other. I thought her feet were like... It looks like one foot is yeah, incredibly exactly. long, but they're still so quite large. What was funny to me is I saw that and I'm like, longest legs? Why are they focusing on the legs? <laughs> she, Or she's a double entry, double entry winner. Longest legs, longest feet. It's like uh, Peggy Hill. Most 80s uh, dress. Yeah. You, you know how she what wears, she like, have? she has Size to go 10? secretly buy men's shoes because mm -hmm. her feet are so huge. Yeah. Poor Peggy. But she is kind of horrible, so never mind. Whoa. There she is with the smallest man. Oh. Uh, That's wild. That her wild. legs are not proportionate to her body. That's crazy yeah. looking. Yeah. I mean, yeah. right? Or am I just imagining it? That's kind of disturbing, having him stand between her legs. I don't know. Yeah, when she's in a skirt, yeah, dress, whatever that is. Uh huh. All right, you got any any others that you'd like to share? Uh, Longest tongue on a dog. Oh my gosh, you'll love this. It's like Peebles, Puggy, a Pekingese possesses the longest liquor on record at four point five inches. That's disgusting. <laughs> the measurement was taken at Avondale Hazlitt Animal Clinic 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 in Texas in May two thousand nine when he was nine years old. That's some breeding it looks problems. Like. A hot dog. That's been Excuse cut me. in half? The, the When you do it to like put it on a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. That's, oh. That's repulsive. Now I want a hot dog sandwich. That I'm just is, kidding. is even more repulsive <laughs> that that would make you hungry. Okay. Well, how does this grab you? Oh, this male stripper clearly didn't have like a tummy tuck. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. He's got the uh, split. Magic Mike. Is that is that what it's called? From a tummy tuck? I mean... That's that's the word I made up for it. Oh, all right. I, I don't know. You said it was such authority. He's got that. Sp I feel like I've seen that before. He's got like yeah. a split in yeah. the under the belly button. Magic Mike had nothing on Bernie Barker. I think he did. The American, a former real estate agent, stick to real estate, 
Got into stripping in 2000 at age 60 as a way to get in shape after overcoming... Oh, okay. All right. I mean... Yeah, you, you started know. out all mean, and now look at you. You're backtra- backtrackling. <laughs> backtrackling? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Back I must have, like, a yeah. brain problem. Well, I think that's been established. I mean, beyond, you know, what we already know. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I like your words that's that you your, make up. That's your cue to go, oh, no, 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 you're no, good. No, babe, you know, I'm, you know I'm kidding, joking at you. I like the words you make up. Backtrackling, I am going to insert it into my everyday usage. Longest career as an ice cream man. These are boring. Well, like, why? I mean, good for you. There I go, being mean again. <laughs> being so mean then fucking I, mean. <laughs> because. I do get the gurning one, though, why you wouldn't make fun of that. You're just making an ugly face. I mean... And you're good at it because you have bad dental health, or and, no dental health, I should say. And why is that something you're proud of, uh, is being an ugly person? Whoa. I, I don't think anyone said they you were know, ugly. You know what I mean, though. Being Are able you to... Are now? Being able to look ugly. Uh-huh. Why is that something you're proud of? Because you get publicity and you probably get, like... You probably get on, like, local news stations and maybe you get on a few you know, talk shows or you have like a little, you, you get in a magazine interview and then, you know, for someone like that, I mean, she's probably set for life if she is smart about what she does with her money. Okay. Well, you you're know? really selling it. I have time for me to pull my teeth. As long as she uh, watches her spending and puts that coffee can full of money in a safe place on the property, um, you know, in mm-hmm. the Appalachias, I'm sure she's, she's sitting pretty. Yeah. Living high on the hog or whatever. And can't just everyone do that if they don't have any teeth? I don't. It's clearly an acquired I mean, skill. But I think I think if you, I think the only, you can do it if you just don't have teeth. I think that's, you can close your mouth more tightly mm. without, tightly, without teeth in the way. That was a lot of teas. Maybe put your money where your toothless mouth is, Brandon. Maybe, uh... You're like touching your teeth with your tongue, like to make sure they're still there. My cheese? You're touching I your teeth with your bit tongue. Of extra saliva. Give me a fucking break. The um, heaviest weight lifted with oh, an eye socket. I don't want to know about it. I is, don't. I don't want to know about it. Tell them I'll plug my ears. It's fourteen kilograms. Oh my god. Uh, which is uh thirty point eight pounds ow i sock it how i sock it how how <laughs> how no, i sock liter- it <clears throat> how does how literally does that work literally you know where is your eye socket exactly it's how it's the hole that your eyeball sets but into how do you dangle? probably by putting hooks into oh. the into you know, in there. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. No, yeah, yeah. I, I, I gotcha. Oh, heaviest lifted with both eye sockets, because you couldn't, because you wouldn't want to leave the other one out. Well, you want symmetry. If you got a <laughs> saggy ass eye socket now, you want to make them even. And I mean, your your skull can break. So, like, I, why would I you want to play with that kind of fire? That really gives me the cringies. Yeah. It really gives me the heebie-jeebies more than the tongue. And the heaviest weight lifted with one ear. Okay, that I can handle. Can you, though? Can't the ear handle a lot of weight? Using a clamp. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. 80 kilograms. Clamp, clamp, kabamp. 178 fucking pounds. Hmm. I can't. That's lifting me with your ear. I don't like it. I'm back to the not liking how it. Do, how does your ear not rip off with that? Very carefully. <laughs> what? <laughs> I what? I gotta look. I gotta look up the pictures. You talk. You talk. <laughs> I don't. Um, I'm sure if I just type in his I don't name, really have Rakesh anything. Kumar. Yeah. Most apples held in own mouth and cut by chainsaw in one minute. Uh. Oh, yeah, that one freaks me out. Where is it? Where does it? It doesn't say. 
Bro, why eight, you do this? Eight apples. So he's holding an apple in his mouth and cutting it with a chainsaw. Yeah. I just don't... Like, just because you have a chainsaw doesn't make it impressive. Like, I get it. It's sensational, it's, but... It's very dangerous. Why are you using a chainsaw that close to your face? I don't think it's super challenging. I think it's reckless, but I don't think it's super challenging. Not like the person who can fire, <clears throat> shoot an arrow the farthest using her feet. That's cool. You know, that... That was that. That was cool. That's that's what I would call I sensational. That one, sensational, but also like you, she's super athletic. Even I mean, if you miss the target, it's like, damn, good job. Oh, <laughs> so I wanted to point out. So Brandon, I couldn't even hold the bow. <laughs> so Brandon, you can do. You're at forty push-ups now. I don't know if you've ever timed yourself, but like in a sitting. Yeah, the max at one time I can do is forty. Um, this person can do. Uh, or this might have been, you know, a few years ago. Most push-ups with claps in one minute, with, 77. With claps? You should try that because if you could beat that. I don't know if I could even do one with claps. Let's try it. Try it right now. Uh, that's how you fall on your face. Okay, we'll put you under a padded surface. Try it right now? No, you don't have to. Try it after this. Challenge accepted. Brandon, Brandon accepts your challenge. Thank you for internet. Accepts your whose challenge? Internet. I feel I like just this said, is internet. your challenge internet. to me. Thank you for issuing this challenge to Brandon. He accepts. You are a pain in the ass. He accepts okay, the challenge fine. to do one push up with a clap. Fine, I'll try See, it. I, I didn't, uh, you know, commit you to anything super crazy. Well, that guy on, like I was telling you before, that guy on, uh, I, I think he recently passed away. He was a oh. very fit man. Mm hmm. Like a centenarian or octogenarian? I don't know what that means. It means they're like 70s or 80s. I, I believe he was in his 80s or 90s. Okay. And he could do, I think it was like 1,200 push-ups or something in one oh, setting. Yeah. We should look that up. That is, that is insane. I mean, I'm not, I'm not very fit. Yes, you are. Obviously. No, I'm not. 64-year-old man? Fit people, I think, can do like a hundred push-ups in one sitting. That's that's a fit person. Mm. But this guy's like a he was like a freak, a freak of nature. Do you remember where he was from? Thou a thousand plus push-ups in one go. What the fuck? It's not this. Oh yeah, Flavio Coldrin. That might have been him. Montreal, Quebec, and it's in an hour. And he's doing full-on push-ups, like proper. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so nonstop, not in a time frame. But, like, how do you determine nonstop? Because he's fully up. He takes a second. I yeah, mean, but, oh, man. Yeah, because, like, when you do push-ups, I know it's 40 compared to 1,200, but you go fast, which I find impressive and sexy. <laughs> Certainly <laughs> sexy. <laughs> so, man, I wonder how long... Hello. That's a long, Hello. that's a long bunch of workout. It's a long bunch of workout. Uh, one hour, one hour and three minutes. Can you, what the hell's he up can to? you, the listener, imagine doing fucking push-ups for straight for an hour? Uh, the most push-ups in one hour is <gasps> 2,220 push-ups. I what mean, the fuck? That's wild. That is wild. So my thing is like this Bird. guy, this this old guy doing the doing the push ups, uh, twelve hundred and thirty two. Because he's not going fast like this guy probably is the the guy who did it in an hour. Um, don't you just get fucking bored? You know, I just get bored. I like the endorphins that you get mm -hmm. from exercise do you feel better because you you had a little bit of a stressful morning and then you did push-ups and what else did you do uh just free weight and did you crunches. feel like an immediate sort of lift and the little side planks uh -huh. those are good for um for uh her what would you call it hernia prevention hernia? okay yeah keep your core strong so mm -hmm. you don't pop a piece of intestine out of your wall of whatever however that works yeah I uh, guess I didn't know what a hernia really looked like because then we had a case where a guy had like a couple mm. and 
it just made me think of the guy in Total Recall who has a little man living in his stomach. You know, the little prophet. What? Uh, remember? Why do I not remember that? Yeah, he opens up his shirt and it like. Oh the yeah, guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It just made me oh think of that because the guy like. I kind of want to watch that movie again. Do you? Weirdly, I want to like. Do you want to do a review? I want to have like dive? a hot cocoa. And just watch that weird fucking movie again. Why? I want to know why. I don't know. It's acceptable. It's okay. I just want to know why. I think just because it's so, so weird. Yeah. And just kind of nostalgic. It has a nice yeah. like um, time capsule-y kind of feel yeah. to it. Very old, but, um, you know, for us, but very violent. Like I was thinking about that. And he's like shooting up people in the subway or wh whatever the kind of... Um, when he kills like five people yeah. at the beginning of the movie and it's super bloody super and i was like oh shit i always forget how violent this movie is mm -hmm. you know dated effects but quite violent yeah a lot of blood well um we can definitely just sit oh i should have got hot cocoa well we can we just have one eat thing. brownies and tea oh yeah we got brownies yeah, brownies. brownies brandon loves brownies i love brownies too i i talk you like do. you're the brownie lover but i think i ate half that tray of brownies i think you did too hey i think we you know i think yesterday we you said you ate most of the brownies and today you're back trackling is that what it was and saying that i ate half the brownies which i probably did so let's just let's just leave it at that so make some more brownies today mm -hmm. so. i'll make more brownies okay. The Ghirardelli double chocolate with chocolate chips. So we were like, ew, they're kind of cake-like. They're kind of crumbly. But then you let them sit and they like congeal and harden a bit and they get that kind of more like leathery texture. Solid, uh, I solid. I just choked on my own spit. Because <laughs> you're thinking about brownies. Solid and squishy. Solid and squishy they're kind all of, at once. Yeah, they were kind of powdery and gross. They were more like, like right a cake after. texture. Yeah. But they have to like harden and cool. And I used butter and not olive oil not all it worked what am i saying olive oil not veggie. veggie oil i think it worked i think now that we know that you just have to let them cool a bit um i think it worked and i prefer butter you think it's healthy? olive oil and you can not taste olive oil vegetable oil why do i keep saying that because you want olive oil i don't know no veggie oil i i can nasty. i can taste it when it's in yeah. when it's in like cornbread and i think and it's not super brownies. good for you i mean butter's fattening and cholesterol right but but it's not an it's not a super processed thing right yeah it's or like quite a, as much it's a dairy product right i mean yeah it is anyway butter um, is a dairy product thanks yes. sometimes i forget because i always think that eggs are a dairy product and then it's like nope they are not they come from a chicken's butt well well I... they come from the cloaca <clears throat> i guess yes, they do I, come from the butt i know just go with it most snails on That's face. That's disgusting. I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is You're a good one. You're literally clapping like a child. It's disgusting. <laughs> the, uh, the, okay, it so... It makes me think of Teddy with those beetles on his face and Bob's Burgers, and it just grosses me out. So you're, you're a human, and you go, this is what I'm going to do. With my life? I'm going to put the most snails on my face. A bottom-eating <laughs> mollusk. That might be redundant. I'm going to put them on my face. They eat They eat bird shit. And I'm going like to put them on my turds. face where my eyes and nose and mouth and ears are. All of, like, most of my mucous membranes. Most snails on face. Finn Kehler, age 11? He didn't look 11. I guess snails age you or something. Yeah, he looks, he looks little. Uh, why why is he the i'm sure there are people with bigger faces than an 11 year old you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. more surface area mm -hmm. could be that guy that played hellboy he's got a lot of surface area which one Ron no offense Perlman or the other guy no offense to him he's a he's a good looking dude he just has a big face wait which one uh Ron the Perlman? the original guy he's that not played a good looking dude he you, looks like a Neanderthal. You don't you don't think he's a good looking dude? No. What's his name? Ron. Ron. R -O -N. Pearl Men. Pearl Man. Mm. Spelled P E R O. Yeah. I'm sorry, he's not. That's not a flattering looking photo. He's mm. He kind of looks like um There's a reason they cast him as Beast in Beauty and the Beast in that show. I mean, there's a reason they cast him as a Here he guy. kind of looks a little bit like uh Will Ferrell, oddly. Yeah. 
He's not a bad looking dude. I don't All know. Right. I just didn't want to. Why just, don't you date him? I just didn't want to completely insult the man. All right. Well, oh, what? He was. What? When did they make that? That was a long time ago. Linda Hamilton. Oh, gosh, no. Yeah. I think it was okay. I think I was into it as a kid, but then one of the episodes was really scary. Uh, and I did, I stopped watching it. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a get, show? How did we get? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a show. Yeah, so the, the record held for most snails on face is held by an 11-year-old for and some strange be held reason. it by Ron Perlman. <laughs> <laughs> let's start a petition move on.org that's so mean that's like the you ultimate said it but listen that's like the ultimate form of bullying right there what you just said yeah what? that's true i didn't say start a petition you freak i don't mean it it was for comedic effect i know but you know what i'm saying you said someone with a bigger face ron Perlman. but i said he was a decent looking dude and you were like no but you're a straight man you don't know these things you don't know <laughs> you didn't know if you were good looking i had to tell you i had to tell you that you're an 11 <laughs> anyway 10 being the t the highest not you know 43 snails you're welcome Apparently, this broke a previous record. <laughs> Apparently. I love that they say that in the article. Allegedly. Apparently, this broke a previous record. We're not really, you know. Sure. We're not we really. We have done our research. No, we, we're not really um, blown away by this, <laughs> you know. All right. Well, I think, um, I think we've kind of, you know, given a nice representation and we have some challenges ahead. Don't we? I mean, challenges to uh, take. Follow us. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Comment, because we like that engagement. And, um, you know, uh, did I already say leave us a review? Do that, too, if you're so inclined. And what do you, what do you have to say to the public? Thanks for listening. Take it easy. <laughs> Good to ta talk at you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, people. Bye-bye.